Hi guys, in the previous video, uh, we saw how can we use the PPIs to decide whether any PI driver should be dispatched or not. And then in the part two, uh, we have seen uh, how to trigger some notify events uh, with respect to the PPI, meaning if the one PI driver is installing that particular GUID, so then it has to notify to some other driver so that it will perform the dependent uh, functions when that notify function is getting called okay and today i uh, will see how to share the data between the uh, two pi drivers okay so this data can be uh, in the in the form of maybe an uh, uh, some variable we can say right okay so let's see so let me open the code downloads indicate to demo open the vs code Okay, so in the previous video, uh, I believe we have created uh, a driver, right? So let me see emulator package, PA sample driver, right? Yeah, here. And then uh, we have maybe suppose say firmware volume PA. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's pass the data from this uh, PA uh, volume driver to uh, maybe our uh, PA sample driver. Okay, so we need to create an PPI, right? So now to create that PPI, uh, we need to have the PPI GUID, right? So I will go to emulator package.dc. Okay, so this is our PPI section header. I will hit enter. Control Shift P. Insert GUID. Okay, I will insert the third option, which is GUID name. Okay, so I will remove this GUID name. So let's call this a new PPIS GPA sample to PPA GUID. Let's make some alignment. Okay, so let's make this GUID as a as an uppercase. It's an completely optional. Okay, so our PPA GUID is ready. Okay, so I will copy this. And I will go to this firmware volume dot pi. Okay, so here I will add this under the PPIs. Okay, so now this PPI is going to produce. So we are always going to produce or maybe install. So here I will say produces. So it's just an uh, uh, just as an indication. Okay, so now I will go back to this uh, firmware volume PI and I will go back to its uh, entry point, which is this PI initialize firmware volume PI. Okay, so now here uh, maybe so we need to share some data, right? So let's call that white. Okay, so okay, instead of white, let's create that uh, PPI descriptor itself. EFI PI. PPI underscore descriptor. Okay, it's a pointer, so I will say PPI descriptor. Okay, so now this is a pointer, so uh, which is pointing to this descriptor. Okay, so this is a PPI which is pointing to this uh, PPI destructor. Okay, so now let's try to assign uh, let's try to allocate some memory for this okay so maybe i will do it here is equal to so let's do the type casting to this func uh, or to this uh, structure okay and let's allocate the zero pool okay so it's not doing the auto fill so i need to include a library Slash include library slash memory allocation lib. Okay, so now here allocate zero pool. Okay, so how much pool of memory we have to allocate, which is the size of our structure. So size of this preparation. This uh, descriptor structure, okay. Okay, so sometimes what happens uh, this allocate pool may fail to allocate a buffer. So that time 
it will return null. When it is going to return in null, uh, we have to add some error uh, handling, right? So we'll check if PPI descriptor if is in null. Okay. So we are going to return EFI out of resources. Okay. Assume if the allocation is correct, so then let's assign the flags. PPI descriptor. Okay, so the first thing is the flags we have to set. Okay, so in this flags, so what is this a PPI type? The PPI type is a descriptor, right? So EFI PA PPI. Okay, descriptor underscore PPI. Okay, and our then the other one is it's just a descriptor PPI, right? So we have to provide a terminator list as well. EFI PA PPA descriptor terminate list. Okay, so these are the flags. So what these flags we are uh, specifying? So it has a terminator list and it is having the PPI descriptor PPA. Okay, and then PPI descriptor. Okay, so we have to pass the GUID. Okay, GUID is equal to the address of what is the PPI GUID we have? This one. Okay, so GUID we have given. Okay, so now PPI descriptor and then PPI. So this is where uh, we have to pass the information what data we have to share. Okay, so now let's say white star so maybe i will say zero cross dead dead okay so now what this uh, uh, firmware volume pi is going to do so this firmware uh, volume pi is going to share this uh, dead dead data to some other driver okay so now this dead dead data can be uh, uh, can be uh, uh, you can replace with uh, your own values okay or maybe your own pointers Okay, so now we have to install this PPI. Okay, so how we can install PI service install PPI. Okay, so for this install PPI, we have to pass this descriptor. Okay. So what we have did, so we just created a pointer of that uh, PPI de uh, descriptor and then we allocated a pool of memory so that uh, uh, this uh, uh, pool of memory, it uh, stays always, okay, until uh, this PI service ascends, okay. And then uh, we created a flag which has a, which is a type of this uh, descriptor and it has a terminator list and we pass the GUID and then the PPI data which is dead dead and then we are installing the PPI. Let's add some comment. Install. PPI. Okay, so now let's try to build. EDK. Setup. And then I will hit enter. Okay, so build. Okay, so build is done. So let's try to boot as well. I32 because we are building the I32 one. PMD win host. Yeah, boot also works fine, but let's store this to some log. Win host boot.log redirect everything. Okay, yeah. So now let's see whether this uh, PPI got installed or not. So, how we can confirm whether this PPI is installed or not? Let's open this uh, boot.log. Okay, so now let's see uh, our GUID name, right? So I will go back to this uh, DC file and this is our GUID. 
So let's search for that GUID here. Okay, so here our PPI is getting installed. Okay, so now, uh, so this will give a confirmation that this uh, firmware volume PI.EFI driver is installing this PPI. Okay, so now let's try to access the same data in other driver. Okay, so to access that uh, uh, this data in the other driver, what we need, we need a GUID. Okay, so let's copy this GUID. So let's go back to maybe our new driver, which is PI sample driver, right? So let's add this PPIs here. Okay. So now this new PPI is going to consume here. Okay, so I will add a uh, uh, help text as it consumes. Okay, so now here I'm going, uh, I will go back to the C file. Okay, so now let's create a void because uh, it's a, a void data we are returning, right? So void some data. Okay, so now we created a pointer. Right, so now let's say EFI underscore status plus status. Let me make some alignments done. Okay, so now status is equal to PI services locate PPA. Okay, and this is going to accept the first arguments, right? So let's see. I will go back to its function definition. Okay, so now first thing is we have to pass the GUID, the instance, and the descriptor and the PPI. Okay, so let's pass the GUID, which is PI sample to PPI GUID. Okay, and what is the second argument? It says the instance, right? So let's keep the instance zero for now. Okay, so we will explore this uh, instance option in the further uh, videos. Okay, the third argument is let's see, it's a descriptor, so we don't want any descriptor to be produced, right? So I will give null. Okay, and then I will say the data which I, which uh, where it is going to return, right? So it's a type of white star star, and then I'm going to store this in the address of this uh, some data. OK. So. So now if. If the status is not equal to success. Status if it is not equal to. EFI. Underscore. Success. Then for now, let's try to print something. Debug. Debug underscore info. Not found. Okay, so if 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 the status is success, then what we are going to do Oh, here there is there should be some semicolon here. Okay, so let's make some alignments. OK. So now if the uh, if it is returning sucks, OK, and here we will return failure. EF underscore. Uh, maybe we can say. Let's see the status codes, right? So here maybe we can see EFI not ready. OK, and if it is success, then let's try to print. Debug. Debug underscore info. BIOS. And then. Value. Is equal to 0 hex percentage hex slash n some data okay so now let's try to build so here so what we should expect this some data should be so the some data should be 
the value which we are given here, which is dead dead. So meaning so from this PI volume uh, from from the former volume PI, uh, we are passing this data which is uh, dead dead with the help of this GUID to this PI sample driver. So how this PI sample driver is going to locate the data? So first it will try to locate the PI service locate PPI with the help of that GUID and the output of that is going to store it in the some data and that some data we can access here. Okay, so let's see the build is completed. So now let's try to do the boot. Win host redirect to boot.log redirect everything. OK, so it is redirected everything. So let's close this. Open the. Boot.log. OK, so here from the firmware volume PA, so we are installing it and here we have our PA sample driver and here I you can see. BIOS value is equal to dead dead right so now who is producing this uh, dead dead value so this dead dead value is produced by this firmware volume pi and where are we accessing this value we are accessing in the pi sample driver right so what is the way of mechanism this firmware volume pi is going to store this uh, dead dead value in the pi uh, ppis with the help of this guid and this firmware volume pi is going to install that guid and that same GUID is located by this uh, PI sample driver, and then it can directly access the the value which is stored by this firmware volume PI. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.